Hi, I'm Hotlili Knox, and you're watching Quick Bites, the show that explores San Francisco's love affair with food. There are at least 18 farmers markets in San Francisco alone, providing fresh and affordable food year round. Now this is a great resource for anyone looking to prepare healthy, delicious meals that don't break the bank. To show just how easy it can be to do just that, we've come up with something called the Farmer's Market Challenge. Here's how it goes. We find someone who loves to cook, give them $20, and challenge them to create a delicious meal from ingredients found right here in the farmer's market. So who did we find for today's challenge? That's me. So what are you gonna be making for us? Well, today I'm gonna make a pot of chipino. Chipino! Yum! You know you only have $20 to spend on this challenge. I know, I know, it's gonna be tough, but I think I can do it. It's a San Francisco classic. We're here celebrating Bay Area food and all its freshness. We've got nice, beautiful plum tomatoes here. We've got some beautiful fresh fish here. It's just gonna come together beautifully. Well, then we need to cut out all this chit chat and let's go shop. Yeah. So what makes your chipino uh, particularly unique? For one thing, I like it spicy and I like it smoky. So I'm gonna take the fresh Italian tomatoes and the fresh seafood and I'm gonna put them together with some nice smoked paprika and some smoked jalapeno peppers, which mm. you know as chipotles. And I'm gonna stew them up, get a nice savory, smoky, fishy, tomato-y, spicy broth. Bring it on, Bill, <laughs> bring it on. So, how are you feeling? I feel good, I spent the $20, I even have a few pennies left in my pocket. I'm gonna go home and cook, I'll text you when it's done. Excellent, I will see you soon. I am looking forward to it. Today we're gonna make a nice chipino. It's a San Francisco classic dish invented by Italian and Portuguese fishermen. It's gonna be like a nice spaghetti sauce, but then we're gonna pour fish soup into it. The last thing we'll do is we'll put in the Dungeness crab, let it all blend together and it's gonna be delicious. When I cook, I always try to make healthy meals with fresh ingredients, whatever's in season and local. Those juicy fresh tomatoes are gonna to take about an hour to cook down into a nice sauce, so now's the time to make our fish stock. We're gonna take a lot of stuff that seems like trash, and we're gonna boil it up in some water and it's gonna make a delicious soup base. My parents were both great cooks and I grew up eating really wonderful food. Family dinners are something that are really important. Any chance that we can sit down together and have a meal together. It's a great communal atmosphere. One of the things I like about cooking the most is the opportunity to be creative. Hello, hello. Anybody who sets their mind to it can cook. It's never too late to pick up a knife and start chopping some vegetables and make something delicious. All this stuff is gonna actually infuse this broth with great flavor. Put your heart into it and make something that you, your family, your friends will really enjoy. Time to text to Lily to come eat. I'm here with Christine Adams, manager at Heart of the City Farmer's Market in San Francisco. Thank you for joining us on Quick Bites. You're welcome, glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about the organization. We are 30 years old now. We started with 14 farmers and it's grown now to over 80. So what is the mission of the organization? This area has no grocery store. Yeah. It's all mom and pop stores. We have this because it's needed. We knew it was needed. And the plaza here needed somebody to use it. It was empty. City Hall in the background, beautiful. I want to thank you for taking time to chat with us a little bit about Heart of the City Farmer's Market. Can we thank find you. you on the web? Yes, you can. What's that URL? That is hocfarmersmarket.org. hocfarmersmarket.org. Check them out. Thank you, Christine. Halili, welcome. The Chipino's ready. This looks and smells amazing. Well, thank you. It was not easy to meet the $20 budget. I shopped all the stands, checked everybody out, found some great produce, 
some really lovely seafood, and I think that you're gonna love it. Uh, don't be shy there. <laughs> you know in uh, some restaurants at Fisherman's Wharf, a bowl of Chipino can run you 35 to 45 dollars, so I think it's phenomenal that you were able to do this for 20. This pot of Chipino I made will feed four to six people. <laughs> Not if you invite me over for dinner. <laughs> I'm ready to dig into this deliciousness. Dig in, I hope you love it. Mm. What do you think? I think I'm gonna need more. You can have all you want. I'm glad you like it. I'm prepared to say that you have crushed this farmer's market challenge by a landslide. Excellent. Wait, 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 but first, we're gonna have to tally up your shopping list and see what you actually spent at the UN Plaza Farmer's Market. Go for it. Incredible! Bill Dillon, you've shown us how to make super healthy, super fresh Chipino from the farmer's market, on a budget, fit for the whole family. That is outstanding. Well, thanks. I'm glad that you like it, and, and uh, I, think, I think anybody can do it. If you'd like the recipe for Bill's Farmer's Market Chipino, you can email us at sfgtv at sfgov.org, or reach out to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll hook you up. This is Halili Knox for Quick Bites, and until next time, may the fork be with you.